as a wonderful evening for me as uh, i have the pleasure of uh, associating with this program in the presence of the vice chancellor of mindur university it's humbling to be alongside with uh,
I did everything else in the St. Aloysius campus. Thanks to people like Sureshna who molded me in being a good NCC cadet or Tanvikram who brought me into the fold of debating and various other activities or Shikari Pada Krishnamurti or Peters or even for that matter I was in the college team of table tennis. So, you might be wondering what I am telling or why I am telling this. Because when I was discussing this concept of the online school, I was told that it's all going to be 90% hands on and then going to be a lot of psychologically time tested methods that are going to be used to make John really active to me you understand what I mean well only studies will not make XYZ a great person there is a need for integrated development of an individual if he has to come that is why happily and proudly saying that I did not do my studying properly in my college and that is why I am sitting here as the guest of honor. Thank you so much for considering me who is probably college illiterate but then life teaches us a lot of things. But I always say it's important that we put in our mind one simple mantra for life. The simple mantra is one statement always brings smile in the faces of uh, students when I say this to them. And that is stop study. Yes, friends. From the age of seven, when we enter the first standard, sixth or when we enter first standard, till the age of 15, that we end up being kicked out of an institute or school for obvious reasons. And then we get into another institution called pre university level. Because all these are the normal cases are going to change and the system is going to change in the new education policy. Anyway, till now what is happening is that you have after 10 years of studying, you enter into the university for two years and you enter something called the undergraduate course where actually that is college. So you enter an institution called college for three years so that makes it 15 years of studying and then probably you still are bitten by the bug of studying you enter into post graduation so that makes it 17 years of studying and after 17 years of studying I have found that 90% of the 90 percenters or gold medalists are of no use to the society. The society is benefited more from a 40 percenter or 50 percenter or 60 percenter in the college level who has dropped out and who has done big in life. Why I tell this is that our system has evolved in such a way that studying and by having rot method that 
vice chancellor spoke out and then vomiting it out in the exam papers and in the bargain what happens ask a fifth standard kid what did you study in third standard she will say i know why should i know that is not there for my sixth standard ask a kid of ninth standard if she remembers something that she did something that she studied in tenth standard she wouldn't ask yourself what you study in standard forget it right this is simply because we have been studying and studying has always been for one very very focused goal that is those stupid exams or examinations so when you study you actually are forgetting ultimate result of studying is forgetting and then student will know let me give you alternatives reading reading is the best form where you remember and it is with you but most of the time reading you remember but you cannot recall or you cannot represent it so then let's see what else can be done i purposely kept this next to me i press tap it away and then that but then i feel very nice looking at it observing it seeing it and feeling it with me when i am speaking to you so seeing and observing so from studying we came to reading from reading along with reading seeing and observing feeling helps us to not only remember but recall remember and recall which is important and finally i would be happy not only to plan but then to work on this nurture it and see that it grows so what am i doing i am practically doing so from studying we came to reading we came to observing or seeing and then we are coming to doing so when we are doing what are we doing actually when we are doing we are learning and once you learn we remember we recall we present it and it is there for life and it keeps becoming blur so what studies cannot do learning does simple example as i told you i asked you if you remember what you said i did two years ago last year and we all said no we don't remember <clears throat> but then i learned cycling 20 years ago and for some reasons i have not bicycled for 20 years if you give me give me a bicycle can i bicycle absolutely yes if i have learned 20 years ago something was swimming and when you are swimming all if i am wanted to jump into water i can definitely swim so that is the base prop basic difference between studying and learning and my you study has always been boring studying has always been a burden study has always given an inverted curve in our face yak mm. but then have we 
ever felt learning cycling boring? Absolutely not. Haven't we failed while learning? Yes, we have. We have fallen down while cycling. But then we have got up. We have seen him there if somebody is looking at you. And then give a big smile. And then we took off. That is the beauty of learning. Why I am stressing my learning is that it is very important today if we have to contribute to the society, we need to stop studying, start learning. And unfortunately, our system is, has evolved in such a way that during 1984, when the previous Educational reforms were being discussed. A commission was set up, like a commission was set up recently, and we got the new education policy. A commission was set up then, and one of the members of the commission, very rightly, put a question to start with. And the question speaks volume about our education system. And the question was very simple. Is no education better than present education? This is the question posed. Look at the intensity of this question. And this speaks volume about the in place. I'm sure you'll agree that 90% of people who have not studied have done better than those who have studied. So, offshoot of this system came various alternatives. Various alternatives like postulating. It's a big movement now. There's why yet another wonderful concept called schooling uh, which is which is a slap on the system unschooling and then there is a concept that is slowly evolving called no schooling so there are lobbies that are happening around in the educational arena and here is yet another towards exploring the unexplored. So, we are very clearly seeing that I would rather call it when, uh, when I thought about the online school and the examination system and then I was told there are very limited number of hours of lecture approach or of classroom sessions I was very happy because according to me a kind of an extended homeschooling with the coating of the statutory requirement of schooling. That is, when you come to standard, you need a statutory piece of paper to go to the next level. Hmm? That paper is not going to help you in any way. That paper called master or the paper called uh, degree certificate or SSLC certificate is not going to help us in any way in any of future endeavors. But then that is statutory requirement. So, this a system that has been evolved by Ankur, which is, according to me, a very welcome move where you are clubbing the statutory requirement with the unconventional, less explored path of online 
higher education. Yet another aspect that I would like to touch, I have been given 20 minutes and it's already 21 minutes that I have been speaking. I will, uh, after with your permission, I will take another five minutes. Because of, in the changing times, in the changing technologies, in the changing mindsets, we conventional oldies have not much role to play. We all have to take your permissions with regard to anything and everything. Right from connecting my console or my law, uh, I had to take the help of your friend, your uh, who has come, uh, Arvind, yeah. Uh, so till any any technical hitch, mostly at home also, I ask my daughter if I don't get something right technically on the gadgets. It is not good for small children to use gadgets. And extensive use is a problem, but then knowing and using them judiciously is perfectly fine according to me. So, what has this system done to us? I would like to leave with such questions for you to explore so that you take things in its spirit and evolve in addition to what you are up to. The system, I always believe in a small mantra called 3 E. And this works miracles. The 3 E mantra is very simple. We, all of us, including small children, because I consider myself as a child. I am young, no matter what the figures in my birth certificate say. But then we see four fifth standard children behaving as if they have finished everything in life. This is what our school cooling system has done to them. Again, I forgot to mention, if you remember, I told, I asked you, do you remember what you studied last year? No. But then, if I ask you, if I just tell Twinkle, and you will continue as if you have gone back 15 years, or 20 years, or for me 40 years back, and 45 years back, when we sang Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. How can we remember that for 45 long years? Because we learn. And that is the beauty of this system. But all the systems got went away after seven years. That is from first standard onwards. For years. So there is need for alternatives. And one greatest tragedy of the system according to me, is it is that 3E mantra that I am supposed to administer. The 3E mantra is very simple. We all have abundance of the first E, that is energy. We all have abundance of energy. Even the dying man has so much of energy that till the last breath he wants to live. That is the beauty of all of us, there is abundance of energy. But the problem is, this energy is not being utilized with what we all need to have. We all need to have that enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is required to channelize that energy. And that enthusiasm is to be built up children. At 95, Kota Shivam used to wear the anklets, get 
and dance to yashagana perform yashagana with small kids that is enthusiasm i had a professor in uh, i got my mathematics teacher in my final year degree for in all the three years it is quite evident that i mentioned this here and every time he was 55 when we were in the final year that means he had only three more years to go retire from the college but then every time you would derive a calculus equation differentiation integration sorry i studied it that is why i forgot so differentiation integration and other things and he would derive it and he would jump up with joy when he when he comes to the final step as if he is doing for the first time this is enthusiasm that i am talking about are we inculcating or are we filling up that enthusiasm to use analyze the energy that we have we are not doing it simply because the system is not doing it simply because of the third e third e is we don't enjoy what we are doing we don't enjoy what we are doing as long as the learning process becomes enjoyable we will not learn we will continue to study and you know what happens later so channelize our energy let's tell ourselves let's channelize our abundance of energy with a lot of enthusiasm let's not sit back Somebody will push you all the time. Somebody is not going to give any challenge. We have to pose challenges for ourselves. All these hashtag challenges are bullshit. Is there one hashtag which says hashtag learning for something good of the society? Hashtag service project. Hashtag What would you have done with your parents today? Hashtag Have you been a good parent? It's very easy to hashtag father and mother. Put hashtag father and daughter. But then what have you as a parent done with your? Ah, uh, posing for a photograph is wonderful. So this is the problem with all of us. So let's tell ourselves. Let's utilize our energy with a lot of enthusiasm, and let's enjoy what we are doing. I can go on and on and on, simply because I am enjoying what I am doing now. I am enjoying speaking to you. I am speaking to a console. I might be speaking in front of a laptop screen, but then. i am enjoying simply because i am visualizing hundreds of children hundreds of young friends like sureshna sitting in front of me so that's we have to take things is ankur doing it if it's doing it and i'm sure it is doing it and when it starts doing it it will serve its purpose and i am always with that purpose akshay thank you